Hi, my name is Pat, this is my wife Sam, and we are the owners of Pearlcraft. So while we're here today is um, uh, we're doing a, a wheel for Speed and Chrome, Lance at Speed and Chrome. So we've got on the Lance through through social media. So here's his DeSoto wheel for his DeSoto build. Um, so what we plan to do for that for Lance is a, is a full rebuild on this wheel. Uh, starting with we'll break off all this old material. That's that's too far gone to salvage obviously. Um, we'll send all the chrome chrome pieces out for chroming. Um, and then we'll re rebuild the wheel back up to what it was. Um, so what what we do is no secret, but obviously how we do it is. Um, as I said before, Pearlcraft's been, been in business for 70 odd years, um, and that process has remained a secret for that amount of time. So we'll be able to show you some aspects of what we do uh, for this for this build for Speed and Chrome, but obviously we won't be able to show you the more uh, integral, sort of uh, delicate parts if you like. All right, so now we're going to make a start on, on Lance's wheel from, from Speed and Chrome. So we'll head up to the workshop and get started. So as you can see from here, we've taken all the remaining material off the rim and from here on in we will start the rebuilding process. So what we do is, is all done totally and progressively by hand uh, with the assistance obviously of some, some tools but the process has pretty much remained the same for the, for the 70 odd years it's been travelling. So the history of Pearlcraft. So Pearlcraft began in the, in the 1940s and was started by a, a gentleman named Bill Clark and back then the company was called Clark's Plastics um, and that was pre predominantly based on truck steering wheels uh, used for changeover of truck steering wheels so the truck would turn up at Bill Clark's shop um, in Mooney Ponds and they'd pull the wheel off, put a new wheel on and off he'd drive with his pearled wheel. Uh, it was a hygiene thing so the old Bakelite black wheels in the truck after a while would start breaking down and then the drivers would end up with black hands so more of a hygiene thing back in the day and dabbled in the cars, uh, FJs and that were pearled in the day. Uh, Bill Clark ran that up until the 70s where he came across a gentleman named Wayne Basinski and where Wayne ended up buying the company off Bill. Uh, that was done back then on a handshake deal, no contracts, no nothing like that. And then Wayne, Wayne ran that company then for about 40 odd years um, and through that, through that time there was uh, Wayne did process improvements to the to the procedure, and introduced colour matching, um, rim reductions, and pretty much brought Pearlcraft to where it is today. 
So how we became the, the current owners of Pearlcraft, we've been, we've been um, in business now for about two years with Pearlcraft. Um, we've got a 56 Chev um, two-door that was restored in the States. Uh, it came from good bones. It was unfortunately for us, it was, was more of a street rod, had a street rod type feel to it. So as soon as it landed here, um, it was customised back to more of a custom car. Um, airbagged it, uh, extractors, new exhaust, chromies, white walls, just gave it that, that custom feel, a bit of pinstriping. Uh, that was all done uh, by my friend Tag at Modified Rods. Um, great guy, friendly. Um, so after we had all the work done on the Chev, um, we were at a car show one day, I saw a pearled wheel. And for me, I just had to have it. It was just, it was just something I just had to have. Asked around, um, who does them? Where do I go? And everything, everything pointed to Pearlcraft. Um, so got onto Pearlcraft and ended up buying a wheel out of the states. And then when that landed here, sent it up to they were up in Sydney at the time. Uh, sent it up to them to be pearled. And throughout the process, talking with Wayne and Lee, could sense that they were. Um, not ready to hand the business over, but certainly the, I thought there was an opportunity there. Um, spoke with them about that, and sort of to and fro about six months later, um, ended up purchasing the business off Wayne and Lee. And for them, it was um, the most important thing for them was making sure the business went to a good home, someone that was going to stay true to the process, and obviously um, we were in the in the custom car scene. So the, the Pearlcraft, it's, it's, it's a very niche business um, in two things that we offer, the services we offer is in pearl steering wheels, um, but also the ability to run a business like this, servicing the world market from a, from a workshop, from a residential workshop. We've got a six by four workshop that we work from. Um, so you would send us your wheel, we'd carry out all the repairs, uh, and then our process is a it's all hand applied, it's a hand applied process which takes around four weeks to complete. They also offer uh, rim thickening, uh, frame up rebuild so we can rebuild you know, if your rims, if, you, if your wheels back to the wire rim, we can rebuild from that back up to uh, what we look and feel no different to what it, we want to make from the factory. Uh, we can do accessories, gear indicator knobs, that sort of thing. Um, and we, we, uh, we do offer a chroming and plating service which is obviously outsourced. Okay, so here we are at the end of the project for Lance's DeSoto wheel. As you can see, it's all finished. Uh, the wheel, as you remember when it came, was in a sad state of affairs. Uh, we had to break all the remaining material off the wheel and then rebuild that wheel up and finished in a, a colour match ceramic yellow, which Lance su supplied the, uh, the paint sample for. Uh, all the chrome, chrome went out for, for chroming, come out really well. And she's ready to, ready to send back to, back to the States. And I can't wait to see, it, see the car finish and see the wheel in its rightful place. Um, just a quick thanks, I'd like to thank you for watching obviously. I'd like to thank my son Jake, Jake's uh, 15 years old, wants to be in the film industry so this is a good opportunity for him to sort of 
show your skills and have a crack. Hopefully it's come out all right. Um, thank my wife. So I'm pretty much being the face of Pearlcraft that my wife plays a big part in the actual working of the working of the business, the workings of the business. Uh, she gets up there and gets her hands dirty and gets amongst it as well, so I couldn't do it without her. Uh, I also just like to thank Lance for this opportunity um, to, to do this and show everyone what we do. Uh, if you want your wheel done, obviously check us out, uh, www.pearlcraft.com.au. I also got a Facebook page, Instagram page. I'd love to help you out if you had any, uh, any wheels that you need repairing, refurbishing, and pearling. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to do now is um, I've um, resined up a bit of a knob onto Lance's shaft for his indicator. Came with nothing on there, just a steel shaft. What we'll do now is we'll just shape it up on the lathe, and then um, after that we can we can pearl it. Here we go. <coughs> What you probably don't realise is, the longer you work this on the lathe, it'll actually become pearl. So there's Lance's indicator knob. Um, we saw how easy it was. Chuck it in the lathe. Just keep turning it until it comes out all pearled.